What's up, everybody? Dave H. Dark Side Kennels. How's everybody doing? Shut up! So, uh, I just figured I'd give you guys a quick look at the yard. What's going on here? Shut up! Fucking dog. Shut her fucking mouth. Anyway, um, I just want to show you what's going on. Check it out. I got the puppies out today. They've only been out here for like 10 minutes. Because they're young yet, so I, I, they're usually this first time they've been in the kennel, ever. They're going on nine weeks old. They're eight, going on nine. There's the male in the front and the female in the back. This whole kennel's empty, except for where they're at. Oh, fucking dog, shut the fuck up. Horrible, so she's in heat. Um, but I don't know. If I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna breed her or, or not. I want to, but I don't know if I'm breed her or not. I might just, I might just sell her. She's got, she's been having, having some kind of little bit of an issue, and I just ain't got time for it. But uh, where's the little rock at? There's Little Rock. Little Rock's looking good, man. Little Rock's looking good. There's Troy. What's up, Troy? You good boy? Troy's like, yeah, let me out, bitch. And then there's, there's the one that started it all, Jasmine. She's retired. She's just chilling out and then relaxing. And I got Vader here. Sandy. Of course, whenever I got the camera on, these guys never give me good shots. And I got Blue up my ass right here. Hey, Blue. But, uh, zoom in on the puppies. These are two puppies. If anybody's interested, but they're not cheap. That's Dual Champion Aries. Okay. And Jasmine. That female, man. They're not used to being out in the cold, so they're like, whoa, shit, it's cold out here. I just leave out here for about 30 minutes, and then I'll bring them back in the house. And there's their mama right there. What's up, Jazzy? So, I usually have Jazzy in the house, but I just don't have her in the house now, because I'm trying to get these, keep these two pregnant females straight. And four dogs in the house is a bit much. One thing, temperament on these puppies is a lot calmer than the last litter. The last litter was wired for sound. But that's because it, that's because it had Kobe in it. Kobe, Kobe got that high drive, man. These are a lot easier going dogs. So they look good though. He's his ears taped a little bit. They're folding up a little bit. They're not real bad, but they tape his ears. There's, there's their mama. Still a pretty girl. Got her, her weight's all up and she's stabilized after having the puppy. She's all fixed and they're tired and it's gonna chill out, man. If anybody wants Jasmine as a pet, they can have her for free. If they give her a good home, I don't want her tied out in the yard, you know, if you want to make her a house dog or something, that's fine, but other than that, she'll stay here. And then, uh, let me see, there's Troy. Little Rock. Look at Little Rock's head. Look at the head, man. He got a beautiful head. What's up, Bubba? And there's Sasha. She's in heat. But she keeps having that. Damn. He just took a dump there. That's nice. And prolapse shit. She had it. Well, she had it once. When she, usually, poor bulls get it when they're younger. And then, um, second heat, she didn't have it at all. I bred her. She didn't take. And now this time, she's got a little bit, but not a lot. But 
I just don't think I want to deal with it. I'm going to buy a different female and just sell her. Anybody wants a boar bowl cheap? Right there. And it's Africa Bloodlines from South Africa. It's no joke. So, if you're interested, hit me up. Can you guys get out of my way, man? Jesus. I'm telling you, man. These two pregnant bitches, I mean, they're glued to my hip. They will not leave me alone. If I go to the bathroom, they're in the bathroom. I mean, it's crazy. Come on. Come on. Get in here. So, I just figured I'd show you the dog real quick. Ugh. I went to, uh, I had to go do this plumbing job for this lady today. She was giving me a hard time. Or she's been giving me a hard time on next door, you know, like trashing, trashing my company name and all that. Well, got news for her. I found out what the problem was and it ain't got to do with me. It's got to do with her. She, uh, been cooking with grease and she clogged the filter up in the, in the outlet baffle of the septic tank. So, and all along she's been saying, I don't know what I'm doing. I ripped her off. Come to find out it has nothing to do with what I did. So, I'm going to go there this week, probably next day or so. I'm going to go out there, dig up the lid, pull the filter out. Because you really don't need a filter in there. Um, on a the septic tank, if you got a tea baffle on there, the tea baffles, if it is a filter. So, when you put that other filter, it's got little tiny slits, like real little tiny slits on it and um you know you get grease on that and it you know it, it solidifies on there and it just clogs it up solid you can't nothing will go through it so but i told him i said you sitting here bashing my name so i'm gonna sue your ass you know i don't play around man i mean if i do something wrong just like if i do something wrong with the dogs i'll take the hit you know what i mean i'm gonna take a hit for something i didn't do but uh Dogs are doing good. Um, both litters confirmed. Hopefully, we don't have any absorbed puppies or any of that crap. Um, it's, just, it's just weird this time. Both these pregnancies are weird this time, man. I'm used to the, you know, after 30 days, you know, the dog starts getting pretty big. You know what I mean? They're, they're swelling up, but they're not swelling up like they, they, you know, like what I'm used to. So I'm like, I don't know. But I see them every day too. Like I took, I took uh, when I took her uh, stop. When I took Sandy over to get the ultrasound, he says, "Oh, she she swelled up." To see when you see them every day, it's different, I guess. But Blue, what are you doing? Stop, man. These two females have been acting weird since they got pregnant. I'm telling you, they've been acting, doing some weird shit. I mean, <laughs> I'm not used to what's going on here. This is not my normal, you know, dog pregnancy thing going on here. Like, just acting weird, man. <sighs> Throwing me curveballs. But... Um, the one flyer is already out, so you can see Sandy's pedigree and so forth. And then I, I posted that on a few, few on my personal page, on Dark Side page, and on a couple forum pages. And then I have somebody working on um, the Blue and Aries flyer. It should be done by tonight, and I'll put that up as well. You will be able to check that out, see what's going on. Deposits on all the puppies are $1,000. I'm only going to take two deposits per litter right now. So that's four deposits total. If you want you want to get in early on something and get a top pick, that's up to you. If not, you can wait till they hit the ground. I mean, you know, but if you snooze, you lose. You know what I mean? Because somebody's already, already took the uh, first pick on the uh, Blue Aries. So... If you're if you're interested in uh, get one of the upper picks, I suggest you uh, get on it because I can't guarantee anything, of course. Maybe I can't. But uh, I tell you, man, lately I've been just dog tired, stressed out with all this shit going on. 
But I'm trying to get it together, stay positive, and do what I got to do. You know what I mean? So we're getting ready to, you know, get these litters on the ground. We're going to get this place tightened up, get the whole camp tightened up, the whole house, inside, outside. I'm going to be doing a lot of work around here. I'm going to get this shit place tightened up. And then, uh, got to go get the RV, probably at the end of the week, pick that up. And I got to start cleaning that. Because mechanically it's fixed. But now I have to detail it, clean everything inside, wipe everything down. You know, to my satisfaction, because I'm picky. A little OCD, I guess. Um, I don't even like the way my yard looks right now. My yard should look tr ten times better, but can't do nothing without money. You know, you gotta have money and you gotta have time. And it's two things I'm short on, money and time. <laughs> so, uh, it is what it is. But once I get things rolling, it'll roll. So I hope everybody's having a good day, and uh, hope all your litters are going good, everything's going good with you guys, and I'll talk to you all later. I just wanted to give you a chance to see the dogs outside, you ain't seen them in a while, and, you know, see the puppies outside for the first time. I'm going to leave them out for about 30 more minutes, and I'm going to uh, bring them in. All right, guys, talk to you later. Peace.